Hey, what's up everyone? This is uh, Bubbles, and I've been getting a lot of requests about <coughs> um, why the data file option, if you can see right here, I hope it's big enough. It should be big enough. Um, why the data file option is grayed out, or why the data files, when you click on data files, is unclickable. <coughs> um, as far as I know, there's only one way to fix it. And I'll be demonstrating the way to fix it because I've literally be get, been getting messages upon messages of how to fix this. And it's not hard, it just takes a lot of typing. So I figured, you know, I might as well make a video. <coughs> um, and hopefully it will help. If it doesn't, send me a message and I'll try to figure out another way. But this is the only way I know how. And it seems to work for most people. Um, so basically, if your data file option is grayed out like this, like you can't click on it, or when you do click on data files, you can't click on any of the data files to check or uncheck them. This is what you got to do, okay. So exit the launcher, and you want to go to go you're going to want to go to the start menu, documents. And then you're going to want to find depending on your operating system, I'm using Windows 7. Um, I'm not sure if they're all the same, but try to find like my games or something with like games, you know. So libraries, documents, my games, okay. Then you should see Skyrim in there. You click on Skyrim, and there should be these folders: saves, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> and then there's two configuration settings, okay. You're going to want to click on the Skyrim prefs one. Double click it, and use Notepad, okay. You don't have to use Notepad, but I recommend using Notepad. It's just simpler. Okay, and you'll see all this, all this uh, text, and you're going to want to find Launcher. See right here. I'm going to highlight this. Hopefully, you can see it. You might have to squint, but um, actually, let me see if I can view. Let's see, Control Plus. No, okay, whatever. So basically, <clears throat> you're going to want to find Launcher. Okay, that's general. I'm just using that as an example. So you're going to want to scroll down. Mine's near the bottom. Or if you want, you can press Control F and type in Launcher. Then it will find it. Okay? You click Find Next and it'll highlight it right there. Okay? So as you see, under Launcher right now, I have B show all resolutions equals 1 and U last aspect ratio equals 3. Okay? So all I'm going to do is press Enter, go back up to that blank line and type in B enable file selection equals one. Okay. Then we're going to. It might. <clears throat> you might either not have that line at all, or you might have equals zero. Okay. You're going to want to change that to one. Okay. Then X out of that. Make sure to save. And then let's load up the game again. Play. Yes. And look, I can now click on data files click on it. You should have all these um, mods. These are all my mods I have installed. And then you just, you know, click on the check marks, which one do you want to load? And um, that's it, really. Um, this isn't really a demonstration of how to mod. That's my other video. Um, but yeah, this is how you fix it. Um, I hope it helps. If it doesn't help, again, send me a message. Um, and I'll try to help you as best as I can. This is the only way that I know of off the top of my head without scouring the internet for hours looking for other fixes that might not even work. So this will probably fix 90% of the people's problems, maybe 99% of the people's problems, and that that's a good amount. Um, the 1% of you that doesn't fix, send me a message, and I'll try to help. Um, that should be it for this video. Um, thanks again, and good luck.